from my experience as a practitioner, we'll be able to talk what we do on the ground, and I think that will really help uh, to think about it and start. Uh, so we have been using uh, we have been using that, and uh, in fact, uh, it gave us tremendous amount of feedback in terms of what we need to do, where we need to focus on, and uh, you know we were able to do that, and that is that is a key which I feel is uh, that's you know very critical. But let me also tell you that you no, know, it's always a good to do thing that let's do a survey and uh, get the results, communicate it, and then do nothing. So what, what a leader can do? Leader can look at various things. Of course, uh, as, I, as I said earlier, that you know, people leave managers. They join the organization, but leave managers. And so uh, managers being critical and important, they need to do all those things which are critical for employee engagement in terms of being selfless, courageous, because we have to work for the team. And uh, it satisfies their needs that rather than mine. That's very, very important. As a practice, we started working on it, and then we said that uh, we will put in place across the globe a constant kind of communication, which it could be from the CEO, it could be from a group president, it could be from um, your immediate group head. It doesn't matter. But the flow of communication is something which, through emails, through physical meetings, through conferences, we started doing it. And this year, when we got the result uh, in uh, May, we do the survey sometime in the month of April, and we get the results by May to start working on the action plans. We found a tremendous increase in the score. Do it in a better way. And uh, so ours is an organization which is completely doing uh, the back-end work for our corporate office in, uh, in US. And um, so when we started doing this uh, ideas, and we created something called in our portal called Idea Bank, iBank, and we asked people to start posting all those ideas which they can use to make this process which they are working on better than what they are doing. It could be substantial saving in dollars, could be substantial saving in time and effort. And this year when we looked at our ideas, we found that about 4,000 plus ideas which were posted. And out of that, the internal jury selected something about uh, to, the, to the tune of 2,000 such uh, ideas and were presented to the global jury. And we have a jury at a global level which looks at that and almost six to 700 of them were implemented, just coined that name, and goes on till 839. And he speaks to each and every employee who has joined. And among so many things which uh, he asks about them, one of the thing is that how much time you waited for the interview. Because for him, to corroborate that which we as an HR produced to him saying that this week the uh, you know, metrics is that none of them waited more than 15 minutes and everything is fine. He gets that but he asked them there in that like a forum like this and he expects an answer from them in terms of honestly telling that how much time they have waited and then he corroborates. And if he finds a discrepancy, jump to the, uh, the uh, exit part. So when a person leaves, uh, we have a, uh, a policy that the full and final settlement, many of you may not be aware of uh, this full and final settlement is about uh, that when person leaves, uh, they, they have to get a relieving certificate, they have to get an experience certificate. Uh, if any dues are there, they have to get for uh, from the organization in terms of monetary or, or such things that has to be paid. The policy in our organization is that on the last working day, we have a two months of notice period. Notice period is mandatory for all associates uh, to, to follow after resignation from the date, two months of notice period. On the day when they leave, the end of two months, the last day, they will have their living letter, they will have the service certificate, they will have their money credited to their bank account by the time they leave the organization in the evening. So this is something which we have been following and it is tracked. It is tracked in every manager's MBOs. That how much, because starting from the managers and various other touch points, um, could be HR, could be finance, could be uh, the, you know, the facilities admin team, uh, because each one has to clear the dues, if any, from their employee and see that Finance is able to do the processing and HR is able to process the letters and give it to the uh, employee when he or she leaves. So, because many of them, they don't really tell the exact reason why they are leaving. Many of them, they say, yeah, I'm going for personal reasons. And some of them say, but uh, not, not all of them. So through this survey, we did, uh, through a third party, we consulted uh, 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 an organization and through them, we did the survey. We almost got in touch with about 1,000 ex-associates of ADP over a period of say last three, four years who have left. Two years back we did this survey. 
uh, through email, through phone, um, and through a set questions. We wanted to know why they left and what are the areas which they felt was could have been better, and uh, those areas where we can work on. And we got a tremendous amount of response from them. And then we started working on, and in fact, that proved that many of them were talking about that I didn't feel respected uh, or I didn't feel valued in the team where I was working. Not directly, maybe onto the manager, but could be various other reasons, also to the leader also. And we then when we got the results, we, we called a manager's meeting, all 200 of those managers who are in the organization, we called them and we presented it to them, saying that, hey, this is what the result has come. It's not a reflection on you, but it's a mirror. At least you can look at that and then feel that, am I doing all those things which is required for me to have my team as actively engaged? So these are small things. Maybe it is not something which is um, maybe very expensive, maybe from a cost point of view, but gives a great impact in terms of employee engagement. It talks about a lot about the organization and, uh, and that uh, you know, employees is there to burn that extra 1% any time whenever it is required. People may not find the same value, so we have to come up with something new. So in fact, uh, when we started the same milestone program, just as I said, it was for three years. Three years is over. Now we are working to see what now, what next we can do. We cannot be continuing this like this. So something else the team is working on right now and uh, would be doing that for the next year. Thank you.